Hi, so we've been doing some work on plastics, as you know, and I got a bit of criticism for a previous plastic that I did that was graphene reinforced because I didn't show you exactly how to do it. Now, it wasn't possible to show you how exactly how to do it, so what I'm going to do instead is show you an alternative plastic. Now, this is a really, really easy plastic to make, actually, and it uses just um, three main ingredients, and two of them are here. And this one is urea. Now, urea is sold as a fertilizer, and it's incredibly cheap. This bag here cost me something like like about three or four pounds, it's five kilos. Um, it's the major constituent, incidentally, of urine, which is singularly the biggest waste product in the entire world. So it uses this stuff, and it uses this stuff. Now this is formaldehyde, and formaldehyde obviously has a pretty serious rep about it, so you've got to take some precautions when using this stuff, like don't breathe it in, for instance, do it in a fume cupboard. You don't have a fume cupboard, do it outside. Now. Um, we're braver souls than that down here, so we don't really mind a little bit of formaldehyde. And if you feel you want to complain about it, please add it in the comments so that I can delete them. Anyway, I'm not going to do this because I've got a friend who's visiting me today, and this is Jeremy from Texas, and he's going to walk you through it um, to help me out to um, do this. So I'll leave it to you, Jeremy. All right. Okay. So, so for the third ingredient, we have sulfuric acid, and it's 96% concentrated. That's why these yellow gloves come in. Very dangerous. And so the quantities we got, we got 10 grams of the urea, right here, very little bit, and 20 milliliters of the formaldehyde, very little, not dangerous, no big deal. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put the 20 milliliters into the 10 grams of urea. All right. And then with a stirring rod, you just mix until you got it fully dissolved. And it takes a little bit, so I'm not going to do that because I already have one right here. This is what it's going to look like. And for the fun part. Alright, so all I got here is just a little aluminum, aluminum foil mold. I'm going to put this in here. Alright, and while stirring, you're going to put one milliliter of the sulfuric acid in. Just drop by drop until you got it in. I know this seems boring, but it's about to get fun. Here we go. All right, and that's it. There you go. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Okay, so what you get is this. Now, it's an exothermic reaction, so you saw all the water coming off. It's also a condensation reaction, so it drives out the water when it forms a polymer link. Now, we can take it out of the mould, and while it's still wet, it's still quite soft, but when it dries, it turns into this really hard white plastic. Now, this is the stuff that you actually find in your kitchen countertops. They make cu uh, cupboards out of this. It's used in MDF as well. And it's quite brittle in small chunks, but quite hard in these larger lumps. What we're going to do next with this is mix some graphene in it and see what kind of strength improvement we get. Now, quick word of warning, okay, it is formaldehyde, but we use only 20 milliliters of it. You're better doing it in a fume cupboard or outside so you don't get hit by the formaldehyde fumes. Don't forget your 96% sulfuric acid, so if you've got them, wear these things. Jeremy didn't because he's already got glasses. But wear your safety glasses if you've got glasses, wear your gloves if you've got gloves because you're handling your concentrated acid. Remember, keep something near to you, like sodium carbonate, something like that. So if you get a little spill, you can chuck a load of carbonate on it and that will clean it all up. So there we go, a really easy, quick, simple plastic to make from only three ingredients. Hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.